it's early evening. As the sun goes down and the light gets less intense, a lot of diurnal predators are becoming out for one last chance at hunting. What I'm hoping to find is one of my favorite of these diurnal hunters, probably the most bizarre jumping spider you've ever seen, the green jumping spider. There's a secret world all around us, tiny creatures living hidden lives right under our noses, possibly even in our own backyards. My goal is to uncover those very secrets so that we can discover the natural world together. Today I'm after one of the strangest ambush predators that I've ever seen. They're relatively common, but rarely encountered because their camouflage is so incredible. What we're after is the Magnolia Green Jumping Spider. These spiders are bush dwellers. They're gonna be sitting on the leaves of different bushes. And here in my actual front yard, we have a lot of shrubs and trees. Perfect hunting ground for a Magnolia Green Jumping Spider. These spiders are patient. They'll stay still for long periods of time using their impeccable camouflage to hide from prey and predators. To catch such a cunning creature, I'll need to be even more patient. These animals like to sit on leaves, especially really exposed leaves, where they can wait patiently for flying insects to zip by. Occasionally, you can see their shadow silhouetted against leaves in the canopy of various bushes. My hope is that with enough scanning of the bushes in my front yard, I'll be able to find one of these incredible spiders. Bingo. Green jumping spider. It's right there. It's got a whole little nest here. And that's usually more typical of female jumpers. Look at the way she eats that gnat. You can see her little fangs, her chelicerae, working the venom into her prey and carefully devouring bits and pieces of it. I love the way they look at you. Even these ones, they're, they're a lot stranger looking than some of the other jumping spiders you can find out here. With their longer legs, their spindlier appearance, they look like they're actually like some kind of alien or something. And given their intelligence, these little green creatures might as well be aliens. They are absolutely inquisitive. And what's crazy is these are actually one of the more primitive species of jumping spiders. It's thought that these guys more closely resemble some of the ancient ancestors of jumping spiders. The green jumping spider has such a perfected biology that evolution hasn't changed them very much in millions of years. And these shrub and bush environments, you can see why. They're tiny and they're really bright green. If they were in like, if they were on tree bark or leaf litter, like some of the other jumping spiders we've seen here, they'd stick right out. But in these green leaves in vegetation, they blend right in. Not only does it help them evade predators, but these guys are diurnal ambush predators. During the evening time like this, when it cools off, and the early morning before it heats up for the day, these guys will be patrolling the leaves, looking for tiny little insects, just like this guy's got, pouncing on them and eating them. These guys act no different than any other jumping spider. The only difference is because they're so small and skinny, it is a lot easier to squish one of these guys than say a Phytopus or a Platycryptus, one of the tan jumpers. These spiders are fast. These might be one of the fastest jumping spiders that you can possibly come across. Look at how this one just moves across my hand. Now, it doesn't like my hair too much. It's a little bit difficult terrain for this little bush dweller, but they are fast, wolf spider fast. And their eyes are probably the strangest eyes I've ever seen on a spider. Most little jumping spiders have these dark eyes, but these ones, their eyes are light green and translucent. And in different lighting, they almost reflect the light back. It looks in some lighting like they don't have eyes. It's, it's so weird. You, ha you can just see it on camera here. The way, the way their eyes reflect the light is really bizarre. The craziest thing about their eyes is they can see incredibly well, possibly even better than ours. And they use this to see predators and prey. So they can see prey in their local bush environment. They're looking for tiny little specks of movement, which will indicate there's a prey item nearby. But they can also see approaching predators from further away. So they can focus on multiple things at once. And what's crazy is it actually takes a decent amount of brain power to be able to do that. Imagine if you were able to focus on everything in your environment at once, how difficult it would be to actually pay attention to one specific thing. Because it'd be just an overload of information. And the fact that these guys are actually able to handle that is really impressive for such a small little brain. And odds are you can find one of these guys right in your front or backyard. Look for a bunch of bushes and uh, head out in the evening time like this and watch for these guys hanging out on the leaves. Now, green jumping spiders are certainly a bizarre animal, but I actually filmed probably the strangest creature down in Louisiana. Right here is my interaction with a three-toed amphiuma. Absolutely mind-blowing, and I think you'll really enjoy it. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.